All right, guys, so before I get into this super cool card trick, um, I just want to give a huge thank you to a million card tricks for um, actually having me over here um, on the channel. So don't forget to like his video if you haven't done so already. And if you guys end up liking uh, my performance, don't forget to check me out as well. The link should be um, in the description box. So if you guys want to get into it, here is the trick. All right, guys, so here's how you'd actually start off the trick. You could take a borrowed deck. Okay, the spectators have a borrowed deck. They'd go ahead um, and they can shuffle it up, you know however they want to, and then what you would do is have them pick any card from the middle. Uh, let's say you would pick this card here, and I'll go ahead and show you guys. Let's pretend that for the trick, this is the card you're going to pick. You go ahead, you put it into the middle of the deck, and then you, what you can do is also, again, you can have it mixed up however the spectator wants to do it. You just go ahead, you shuffle up the pack, and at this point what you do is you tell your spectator, okay, I want you, you know, you can pick any number in the deck if you want to, it really doesn't matter, and you can pick any number, but to make things simple, let's we can do 10 through 20 or, you know, whatever you want. But essentially, you have them pick a number, and let's say I'll do 10 through 20, um, and hypothetically, let's just say, like 15 or something, right? So they really could. And what you do is you'll do the spectators, okay, so you told me 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tell your spectators, look, the 15th card, they say this wasn't their card, right? So you say, okay, you know what, how about, how about um, you go ahead and try it? So let me go, I'll give you the deck, okay, the spectators takes the deck, and they say, okay, I want you to do the, um, you know, count to 15 for me. So now the spectator is going to take the cards from you, and they're going to count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The 15th card, when they count it out, is going to be there. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so I hope you guys all like the performance. Um, the good thing is it's super simple. I mean, this is something that you can literally pick up a deck of cards and wherever you're at, you don't even need 52 cards really. It's just you need a deck of cards and a spectator and you're going to be good to go. So bottom line is you just go ahead and you have the spectator and it's better to have them shuffle it up so that way they feel like they have some control over it. So you go ahead, they shuffle the deck up, and then what you'll do is have them pick what card from the middle. And then let's say in this case it's the Queen of Hearts. And you're just going to get it lost um, or get it lost, but you'll kind of control it either to the top or the bottom. So when I did it, I took the spectator's card, put it into the middle of the deck like this, left it out jogged. And what I did was I just pushed my hands together, but I pushed my right hand in a diagonal motion. So when I squeeze the deck, I actually have that uh, the selected card out jogged right there on the bottom. So that's actually the Queen of Hearts out jogged a little bit. And then what I do is I apply pressure with my index, pull up on their selected card right there, grab the bottom deck out, put it on top, boom, their card is on the bottom. So then from here, um, the choice is up to you. You know, you can go ahead, and I think I did like you know a little table ripple shuffle where I just made sure to keep you know their card on the bottom, and then you know whatever else you want to do. Um, just bring that card to the top so you can do like an overhand shuffle and bring their card up to the top and then from here that's it okay the cards at the top of the deck and then now the trick is actually set so now that it's on top you can tell your spectators you know they can pick any number they want I mean they really can pick anything one through uh, 52 right so if they say one you say no way you know you said it's right there on top so the spectator says it there um, if they were to say 52 it would be a long day so you can say whatever you want if you want to keep it short Say 10 through 20 if you want to do all of them, you know. So essentially the way it works is let's just do 10 so you get the general idea. Essentially their card is going to be on top of the deck, right? So let's say they say 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You grab the 10th card. You show it to them. It's not their card. You put it on this pile. And now you put it on top. And now their card is in the 10th position. So you could do, you know, like a false cut or something. And say, actually, you know what? How about you know? How about you try it? And if you want, you know, you can act like you're mixing the deck up before you give it to them a little bit, make it really subtle. And at this point, their card's going to be in the tenth position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So very, very simple, very, very easy. Um, if you guys like the video, remember don't forget to check me out as well. And again, a huge thanks to a million card tricks. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching.